Hey there, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brothers, and today I'm gonna to be putting some of these V-Force 4R reeds on my KTM. Stick around. So this is my 2018 KTM. It really only has about an hour on the bike. All I've done is set the bike up, lean my carburetor out, this stock McCuny carburetor, and, and I've had to tinker with it a little bit more than I had even to do probably my 2017 uh, KTM to get it to run the way I want it to run. And I've got it running nearly as good as the 2017, but it isn't running quite as well. And I thought, you know what, this might be an interesting time to try this reed cage set here from Moto Tassinari here, the, the, the uh, V-Force 4R reed kit. Um, this, I don't think this is gonna be too difficult to install, but one thing that's definitely gonna help, you're gonna, I took off my tank, I've already done that. I'm going to take out the, uh, basically swing my subframe out of the way. So I'm gonna loosen my carburetor and, and, and uh, loosen this, this um, boot back here and get the swing arm kind of swung up, uh, not the swing arm, but the, the subframe swung up out of my way so I can get the carburetor off and get at this uh, reed cage. So let's take a look at how this is done. All I did is remove the bottom, the, the bottom bolts here for the subframe, loosened the top bolts, uh, took the silencer off the other side, and then carefully um, you know, got my, my boot here, the, the um, airbox boot around the shock, and then this will just kind of get up out of the way, and I'm just gonna put it like this and keep it up there. Now I'm gonna pull my carburetor off and get at those reeds. I'm not gonna unhook anything, I'm just literally gonna kind of get this out of my way. So six millimeter uh, nut driver up here on the front. I don't need this, don't need to take everything completely apart. Just need it to be able to slide out of my way like this. And pull all these vent tubes up. Of course, they're, the bike is sitting on them. Hold please, bike is sitting on those vent tubes. Okay, so now that we got our carburetor out of the way, those vent tubes were <laughs> caught underneath in my skid plate. Now I'll go ahead and take my um, intake manifold boot off here and we'll be at those reeds. And there it is, here, is, here are our stock reeds in the reed cage. Now, they don't look bad to me, but I'm, of course you probably can't see this, I'm not a mechanic, but um, just gonna swap them out anyway. And I'll hang on to these because they're, they're probably still good. They're probably, there's probably no issue with this. I'm gonna try to put this over by the light and see if we can get like any sort of a glimpse of daylight in here. Probably won't be able to see this on the camera, but the one that I'm holding up right now is the stock one, and there is a teeny bit of a gl glimmer of light. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not. There it is, right there. There's a little bit of glimmer of light there. There's a gap on the side right there. Now I'll hold up the uh, V-Force reeds, and I can really see any light coming through there. Um, really any direction that I hold it. So they might be actually better uh, than the stock reeds here. So we'll install these guys in the bike and see if we can tell any difference. Definitely a little bit of different di difference in design in the cage. The, uh, the stock one here is on the left. Sorry, that gasket's uh, the stock one is on the left and the uh, V-Force is on the right. You'll notice that there's a noticeable difference in how they are constructed. 
So look at it from the, from the top down or the side view. You can see they are not, not exactly alike in how they're, how they're designed. So um, again, I could see a little bit of light coming out of the stock uh, reeds. I couldn't see any light to speak of coming out of the V-Force reeds. Uh, and these only had like one, one hour on them and it's just kind of tuning around trying to get the carburetor tuned up. So I'm going to go ahead and put this gasket on the reed cage and install this in the bike. Right now, we're going to go ahead and put our V-Force for our reed cage in there. Just slide it in, simple as that. Grab our boot, carefully start threading bolts. You'll notice that there was a gasket on the on this side of the manifold, or this side of the reed cage, and then there's a gasket on the, the back side of my boot here. So I'll put some bolts in this thing. Feed these uh, carburetor vent tubes. Okay, now I got my carburetor back in place. And uh, one, of the thing I, one of the things I like about this is they've got a little notch up here on the top of the carburetor to let you know that you've got it in the right position up on that boot. You can't see it from here, but uh, we're good to go to start putting things back together. So just go in reverse order and got the sucker installed. Not too difficult. Probably the hardest part of this whole venture is once you, is once you swing your your uh, subframe down to get your um, airbox boot to come onto the back of the carburetor here. That's probably the hardest part because there's not a lot of room between um, the carburetor and the airbox and the shock on the back side. So you just have to take your time and finagle that through and get that on. Now we just got to put the rest of our, our bolts in. We'll got a bolt uh, right here and tighten the bolts up on the top, put our uh, silencer back on and we're, we're mostly there. Well, I got the bike all put back together and then took it around the block around the neighborhood for a few minutes here. It's getting dark, uh, so I didn't go on a full on ride, uh, but uh, the, it ran really, really well. So whether or not it's gonna run remarkably better than the stock reed cage, only time will tell. It probably is not gonna be remarkably better because the, there wasn't anything terribly wrong with that stock one. Although I could see a little bit of daylight there on the sides on those corners with the stock reed cage, um, those stock reeds. So, uh, this should be an improvement and we'll find out over the summer. I want to thank my good buddy Darius Looper for sending this reed cage to me. I didn't buy this. He, uh, Darius went out there and picked it up for me and sent it to me. And we've been talking about it for a little bit. And uh, so I want to thank him for helping me out with that. Um, another thing is if you're watching this video before Mar or May 15th of 2015, or before May 15th of 2018, you can still enter to win that KTM 250 XEW TPI over there. I'm giving that away for the price of a t-shirt. If you go to dirtbikechannel.com, you'll see all the information about, you know, the shirts that you can buy to enter the, the sweepstakes or the hats. If I have any hats left over, they're going fast. Um, then you can do that and win that dirt bike over there. That's pretty much it guys. So if you have uh, questions, leave them down in the comments. If you need to get a hold of me, go to dirtbikechannel.com. There's a, there's a have questions page over there. You can get, get in contact with me that way. And uh, that's pretty much it. So until next time, see you guys.